coffee came to me with the idea of loving to camp. So every time I'd go camping, I'd make cowboy coffee, which is grounds and boiled water, and that's cowboy coffee. And so I thought, that's really cute. I love rich co coffee like that, but I'm gonna call it cowgirl. So that's really how it came up. It wasn't like the big fancy belt buckles and the big hair or anything. It was, it was really because of camping. came here actually on a snowboarding photo shoot because I was a professional snowboarder and fell in love with the little town of Whitefish, decided that this is where I wanted to live. Packed up all my things, moved to Whitefish and started working actually at a coffee shop. Now I've been doing coffee since I was 14 years old. Everywhere I would go, usually with snowboarding, I would always end up getting a job with coffee. And so that's exactly what I did in Whitefish. I was very fortunate to know a man. His son was a pro snowboarder, and he owned a piece of property on the way to the Big Mountain, which is a Whitefish Ski Resort. And so I asked him, hey, could I put a coffee shop here? And he said yes. And that's kind of how the whole entire you know, dream came to fruition, I guess. After starting the one, and I really enjoyed starting them, I loved the startup part of it, but I was called to do that more instead of just sit and operate. So then I opened the second one, and then the third, and then now we actually are at five locations, and it's now going to be our 20 year anniversary in 2022. You know, it's sad to say, but I remember being really proud of seeing Cowgirl Coffee in the trash can, like out at Home Depot, and I happened to go throw something in the garbage, and then I saw my brand sitting there, and that was like, wow. And then, of course, like big recognition. We had, um, I think it was Julia Roberts tweeted Cowgirl Coffee, a picture of Cowgirl, and how cute it was, and that was a big deal. And then we've also, even uh, were recognized with the Food Network has done some some articles and little shout outs and some videos and so local recognition is always you know what we strive for the most but you know on the national level it's been pretty awesome one one thing Cowgirl Coffee did get voted the best coffee cup in Mo the state of Montana and the Food Network so that was a neat article to see too Hello. I definitely want to say that probably the strongest focus that we've had has been customer service and the product being exceptional. We know that with customer service, people are really going to like being heard, validated, to have the, the, the staff be cheerful, but also the product has to be exceptional too. You can only get away with being happy and friendly so long if your product isn't great. So we really, we started with organic coffee since day one, that was in 2002, and we haven't veered from that. And we really tried to keep things local. Of course, we're, we're, we're trial and error along the way. One thing I've always done is it's been word of mouth marketing. Uh, word of mouth, it goes a long way. People love, sadly, to talk bad about things these days, but they also really do love to share their great experiences, and that's really where we drive home, is to um, have exceptional experiences at every single person that comes through the, the drive through or the walk-up. Montana is definitely a seasonal spot, so we're, we see some ups and downs in the summertime and in the wintertime, and then there's go those great times that we love are the local times where it's quiet and it's why we all live here. That's definitely 
a huge thing. Oh man, I can't thank the local Flathead Valley for just embracing cowgirl coffee and just making cowgirl coffee who it is. Our customer base is so strong, they're so positive, they're, they're so loyal to this great, strong, organic espresso that we have. They're so loyal. So we are ridiculously appreciative and we just want to be the best for them. And again, like our customer service and our product, we want to be 100%. So any way that we can keep providing that, we love hearing about it. We're just super appreciative of Montana as a state too. I told you that. I just love Montana as a state. We're so lucky to be living here right now in these times. I'm really willing to kind of take a ride and see what the next 20 years looks like. I think coffee is a really fun business, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure if we're gonna just continue and stay here where we are or we're gonna jump to the next level. I'm kind of a jump to the next level girl, so you're gonna probably see us expand to some degree. I'm not sure what that looks like though. And that's always the fun part. Like again, that's what I like to do. <laughs> it's just kind of see the bigger picture and go for it. So coffee's been a blessing.